Dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today's message is for everyone, for the whole collective, and it's for February 1st, 2023. I hope you'll enjoy it and let us begin to see what are the major impacts, how to clarify all the, all the cards and see what else the universe wants you to know. What are their messages? For February 1st, for everyone, each and every one of us, let's have a look. The first and foremost, not a very good card, it shows that there is conflict. There is a matter in your life that you feel defeated at, so no amount of negotiating or, you know, trying to work out, trying to agree to something, it's just not working. So you feel defeated, you feel like there's no win, even though you might feel like there is a win, but there really is no win. That's where I will clarify more about that. Then we have um, your emotional state could be not not doing quite well due to this conflict but i feel like ultimately things are going to get better for you um you might be dealing with someone that has water energy in them scorpio cancer pisces i feel like you are gonna get something that you want there is someone that's going to be very supportive of water energy scorpio cancer pisces that will support you um in this situation or in a, a situation to help you achieve something you are going to take um, some action. Action is needed now and you are going to take it. Some of you are traveling, some of you are moving to a better place, but action is being taken without a doubt. Let's see. Yes, some of you are moving, leaving a situation with regret, a situation where there is no more fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. You're not happy anymore and you are about to leave. So we will clarify and see who's leaving and and why um, you want to have freedom and you are going to go through a state of freedom a period where there's a lot of freedom there is um adventure there is some of you could be actually traveling um when these cards unite in a reading that could be traveling you could be going somewhere uh taking a leap of faith for some of you starting something new a new adventure but absolutely freedom from cares and worry worries that's a cycle of life coming wow nine of cups this is all about your dreams and wishes being established i'm reaching to a level where a lot of desired wishes are going to be granted for you this is magnificent this could be also um the reason that you might be feeling freedom and being able free from all cares and worries you know going through this stage because a lot of your wishes will be granted we'll see what kind of wishes and clarify all this okay now that we've established this let's have a look at what you don't see coming oh wow celebrations we'll put that celebration of something wonderful that's going to happen some news this is a bit later on for tomorrow um when you actually have to take action and news is, uh, news are going to come and you need to act quickly to take advantage of a situation okay but we've got the um the we've got the beautiful card of celebration here obviously you would celebrate when all your wishes are being granted without a doubt that will be worth celebrating for or even when you go through a cycle where you have no cares and no worries in the world and you can do anything you want that m it must be something spectacular that's happening um, that you are celebrating i might clarify this card too let's have a look at the sacred forest and see what they want to tell us for february 1st for the collective for everybody and the message is refuge many of you are taking refuge by going somewhere leaving finding a place where you really want to live some of you are moving to a new house some of you are thinking about where to uh, move to uh, a lot of you are taking action and changing your dominion your your foundations of where you are i feel like there is a sense of freedom you want to have your freedom you feel like you want to have somewhere where you belong where it belongs to you where this is you know you, you don't want to be compromising you want to really live in a place where you feel like it's your home your domain what you want to do so you are taking a refuge in in, in actually taking a, uh, action and moving somewhere or moving towards something it is going to give you freedom and a lot of healing let's see what your guardian angels want to tell you and then after this i'll clarify all the cards what's the message for everybody for february 1st and the message is no need to worry for those of you who are concerned while you are leaving and perhaps unhappy leaving a situation this could apply you don't have to be worried it says no need to worry so they are protecting you they're watching over you and for those of you who are about to leave a situation that's very unhappy uh, and refuge is needed like uh, this mean, refuge means also looking to go somewhere where you will be happy so if you are leaving because you're not happy somewhere you want to go to somewhere better you are leaving to go somewhere better and you are going to have your freedom and you are going to also um, not only have your freedom 
um, and feel absolutely free from cares and worries, you are going to have your a lot of your wishes and desires met. So this is really spectacular. And there will be, this is all going to be worth a lot of celebrations are going to be in order for you. Okay, so no need to worry. Your, your guardian your angels are saying everything will be fine. Now that we've established this, let's have a look at the cards. Let's see what area of your life you feel defeated at and it's out of your hands. Let's have a look for everyone for February 2nd. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? February 1st. And there's that. This is coming probably tomorrow or the day after, but it came now. Remember, I was saying that's due to come, where you will have to make a very quick decision. News is coming. Clarity, truth is coming. Both of them are coming very quickly. News very quickly. Clarity and truth very quickly. And it's coming at a time where you are at the crossroads and you need to make a very important decision. It says here, with the Eight of Wands, take advantage of the situation. You could be um, holding on to a beautiful opportunity. And you could also be resolving a problem, but you need to act very quickly um, in order to do this. But good news is coming and truth with it. So whatever this area you feel um, defeated at and things are not doing well, that's going to be. And there is a new beginning destined for you, a beautiful new beginning. Um, remember that. And there's look, the new beginning comes with um, the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about um, extreme luck and abundance in many areas of your life, destiny taking over. So don't worry if you feel defeated in a situation and things are not doing well and it's conflicting. It's all going to come to an end for your advantage, for your highest good. Let's have a look at the Queen of Cups and see what the Queen of Cups is for the collective. Okay, so you might be torn between two situations. Justice is going to prevail for you. Even though there might be deception or hurtful words or separation, justice is going to be in your favor and you will... Um, receive what you really truly deserve now in regard to the situation the two of pentacles being torn between two situations unsure where to to go what to do there will be news and money coming both to your support so for some of you will be just money for some of you will be news for some of you will be both but you have had sleepless nights and worry and anxiety about the situation it is coming to an absolute absolute end so if you are concerned i feel like um, there could be also someone of water energy that might be very helpful and supportive. Let's have a look at the Knight of Wands and see what that one is for the collective. After a lot of soul searching, you finally decided to move. This is the card of relocation. You, if you haven't, you will be relocating. You're opening your mind to moving and justice is going to prevail. You will have that on your favor. I feel like your mind is... Um, you are expanding your mind after going through a lot of soul searching, sleepless nights, worry. Finally, you are going to move and you are broadening your spectrum, your, your horizon. You're looking at the bigger picture. You know what you want. There's a lot of rewards coming your way. You are destined for so much. So that's why the, this thing is happening. It's coming to something is coming to an end and you're moving forward and you are going to expand big time. So expansion comes from this decision of moving. You are going to expand to a high level. You are going to live a much better life. And I feel like some of you, are going to start families or start something wonderful in business perhaps or uh, upgrading your skills or moving to a better position in life and some of you could be destined to meet the one and um and you know um start a new life with someone so that's why this is coming to an end and you're leaving you're relocating you're moving let's have a look at the celebration just to see what the celebration is all about for everybody I'd love to know what this is all about. Looking forward to celebrations. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I see. It's about lovers. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> Okay, some of us, it's for some, some uh, for some of us, it is about commitment or about higher education or about wisdom. But the most important factor, you're celebrating something spectacular. The card of celebration brings itself. How amazing! And what are the chances of that? If it wasn't like for the supreme um, energies of angels that are around us, and um, thank you for being here and 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 guiding these readings. That's what I always ask for. Without their guidance, uh, I don't believe in anything. It has to be their guidance taking out the cards. And and this is what I love. This is the magic. 
the synchronicity and the magic of the divine. Um, you are going to be celebrating something spectacular. It is to do with decisions about someone new, someone wonderful, a new soul, soulmate, a new soul that is so beautiful, someone that's entering your love. Sometimes it's partnership, sometimes it's love, sometimes it's friendship, but you are certainly going to celebrate this without a doubt. There's big celebration. I'll just put the cards like this so you can see this. Um, I love this picture. I'm going to use this for the um, for the heading because it's worth that. You see the celebration and it is celebrating something spectacular or celebrating uh, the union of two people that are, you know, um, a, a union that is going to be magical. This is a soul that enters your life that you start really thinking of what to do, what's the best course of action because um, there's so much happiness and there's so much connection. So this is going to be spectacular. So I'm glad I did work this out to see what this was all about. So you are celebrating um, a beautiful uh, connection. Now, let's have a look at this leaving with regret and not happy emotionally, the Eight of Cups for the whole collective. For those of you who have had loss, grieving the loss, taking a stand and defending what you believe in, uh, dealing with a situation that has to come to an end, like feeling defeated, there's nothing in your hands, you've got to move on. Um, it's okay. I know it doesn't sound good, but it shows that even though you're grieving this loss, but after healing, you will find that things are going to improve in your life. You are destined for emotional fulfillment. You are destined to have a lot of your desires met. So once you take time out, heal, and heal the, from the situation, you will see that you are destined for the happy life that's destined for you. A lot of freedom and extreme, extreme happiness coming your way with the Nine of Cups. A lot of your wishes being established. So let's have a look at the Nine now and clarify that and see the Nine of Cups, this extreme happiness. What is it all? about these wishes granted what are they what kind of wishes wow the best okay so yes it is about a matter that you've been fighting for taking a stand a situation that looked hopeless or was hopeless some controlling matters or a situation that was controlling you or binding you you were feeling restricted that is coming to an end because you are given the greatest gift of all not only your desires are going to be met but you are going to be given the greatest gift which is the ace of cup and the ace of cup is about a lot of a lot of um emotional areas of your life will be fulfilled a lot of areas of your life will be thriving you will be doing well especially especially your home that's the number one where you are uncomfortable you will be very comfortable there's going to be a gift from the universe something wonderful is coming your way um i feel like it could be you know um, a relationship well we've got I'll just take out the lovers so you can see this. This is really important. It could be this incredible soul coming in your life where you are going to be connected with on a very high level and things will be going spectacular. That could be a possibility. But overall, whatever it is, there's going to be an incredible celebration for everything. All the blessings I'll be pouring into your life. And with the Ace of Cups, the blessings are endless, as you can see. In fact, this is the one that I should put because this is the greatest gift of all. It's not only love, but it's everything else love um, money work home health everything you want many areas of your life will be thriving with the ace of cups and this is the one that's worthy actually of a heading it's much more than just the lovers um, it could be a win it could be a big money coming your way it could be something uh, a greatest gift from the universe this one so and it's coming at a time where we ask about your emotional fulfillments and your wishes and desires being completed. So yes, they are going to give you the greatest gifts. Let's have a look at the um, the fool, the major arcana talking about your freedom. You are going to be free financially, um, big money, big rise. And again, it's about the what you're taking a stand regarding something that's no longer working could be your workplace you're not making enough it could be a place where they're not they're giving you a lot of responsibility but not enough money it could be a relationship that is not doing well and it's coming to an end it could be an area of your life where you're sacrificing and defending what you're believing and taking a stand in the process of that it's very painful because you're leaving your comfort zone the refuge is also about not being in your comfort zone i feel like this matter 
that you are going through a chapter, a major chapter of your life is coming to an absolute complete end. And this is what's going to give you freedom. And once it's give you freedom, it's going to be a major drastic change in your money. I feel like this money could be contributing towards you being free from cares and worries. Money can bring um, a lot of healing for, um, you know, for those of you who are concerned about or worried about money. And this is a, a time in our life. Everybody is concerned about money or oh, everything is rising. Life is becoming very very hard so to be free from cares and worries from debts and situations it is going to take a dramatic change and rise in your money to the point where you will really start thinking how to invest what to buy and, and what's the best you know course of action to take in regard to your money how to say how to protect your money and how to invest it and this is going to give you a sense of freedom uh, a sense of you know being able to move forward especially this ending that's going to contribute to it the ending is contributing towards you being able to move freely and the money is going to be also very supportive to end a very complicated matter a matter that was you know binding you restricting you that's all coming to an absolute end now, my dear viewers, what we've done, what we, what I've done already, we are going to go through and see what else the universe wants you to know. One card. Oops. Oh, too many cards. But I guess they want me to take these cards. So I'll take them. Okay, let's have a look. Well, the Bobcat Spirit is all about um, a mystery, a great mystery. You're destined. A, to a great mystery that's going to be for your highest good and it's going to transcend you to the next level that you've got here laying solid foundations now's the time there's going to be healing and there's going to be love coming your way some of you will be laying foundations strong foundations with love with a lover starting you know new foundations because we've got the love there now we've got here the rabbit the rabbit is all about lucky this is a very lucky time many of you could be winning something like a jackpot um i know the last reading i did i think it was for i don't remember that was a jackpot i saw a big jackpot was given um I'm trying to remember, but my memory has become really bad. A rise in your money, it's a lucky time. Look at your financial reading, your money reading um, that's done for January because you were given lucky your lucky numbers in that one. Uh, make sure you watch it for your star sign, according to your star sign, because the rabbit spirit is all about extreme luck and it's about abundance and it's about money coming. And then you've got the rise in your money together shows that there could be something big um, coming your way in regard to your money. So... Dramatic change in your finances. Okay, so that's that one. Let's just see what else here. One more card we'll take from this deck for the first affair for the whole collective. And there it is. Love, 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 love. How beautiful. Love is destined. You are destined for love without a doubt. You are going to fall in love. I feel like with the lovers coming here in regard to the celebration, I feel like, yes, love is destined and imminent for many many of you are falling in love in a big way so there might be a chapter ending and there is the beginning of true love and a beginning of a great union so that is possible also and it could be love that you're celebrating some of you could be celebrating true love falling in love that is possible also so now we've established that let's see what the butterfly spirit wants to tell us oh that's too many too too many Okay, we just need one or two. Two I need. That's one. One more. Okay, so they decide to give me three. That's okay. I'm grateful. It says, um, be true to who you are. It's very important to be true to yourself and what you truly believe in. That's very important. That will let you know how strong you are. Take care of self-care is needed. You need to pay attention to your health, especially now that we did have the Four of Swords come up. The Four of Swords is sometimes um, also in connection to your health. You need to really pay attention and take care of your health. And self-care now is very important. Being true to yourself is another factor. And you're leaving many, 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 many of you are taking action and you're leaving to a better place. Remember, some of you are going to a better place. Some of you are moving to a better place, but you are literally leaving a place and moving to a better place without a doubt. The leaving is imminent and it's there. You're not happy where you are. That's why you're leaving and you're leaving towards the light, towards something spectacular. How we know that is because of the cards that what they're saying, the energy of extreme happiness that you're destined for, uh, being free. And having your desires met, your wishes established, 
this is spectacular and don't forget uh, the celebration that you are leaving so you're not sad leaving in some cases or you might be sad and then things change because i feel like you're leaving maybe some of you are leaving due to someone new that has entered your life and you need to decide and you're deciding to leave your current situation that is also a possibility a great one now that we've established that let's have a look at the message oh how thank you how beautiful this is a gorgeous card and it shows here embrace embrace it says through each other you find the missing pieces and probably that's why you're celebrating because there is someone spectacular that you are destined to be so through each other you're finding the bits and pieces that are missing maybe that's why you're leaving a relationship and maybe that's why you're in the mood to celebrate because you have found someone that is so beautiful that you are you know embracing each other and through each other you're finding the bits and pieces that are missing and that's what makes an amazing union let's see what else your guardian angels want you to know two cards for the first of Feb for everybody i think something did open up yes one more and that's another one i think no okay i think one this one it did come out yes okay so it shows here honeymoon and we have romantic feelings yes romantic feelings are becoming stronger between you and someone it looks like to me and it says your your feelings are real and they're worth exploring so if you're having romantic feelings for, for someone it is um, a good time now to explore and see how deep and how much they can go they're embracing each other the more you're spending time with each other the more probably you're realizing that you're finding bits and pieces of yourself with each other and perhaps this is what's contributing towards you being so happy and celebrating um, something very romantic that you're having with someone so that is a possibility then we've got honeymoon many of you are going on honeymoon many of you are planning your honeymoon enjoying the bliss of a holiday time together away with someone or if you haven't thought about it maybe you should consider it your the universe is um talking about it is um encouraging it now that we established that let's have a look at what's the message for everybody first of feb oops and there we go okay so it is the ger the ger <laughs> the gerbera daisy i can never pronounce it properly gerbera daisy it says purity cheerfulness happiness and innocence so there is um, a lot of romance i feel like it could be with someone uh, spectacular that you're feeling uh, very much romantic with it says the pre present moment is filled with joy and happiness so romance happiness love and it could be also just pure joy from um you know, having abundance of uh, your wishes and dreams being established and manifesting in front of your eyes, that could be giving you the greatest joy and happiness. This is what joy and happiness is all about, the Nine of Cups. So I feel like um, it says here that the present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you're attentive, you will see it. If you're paying attention and focusing, you will see it. Let's see what the Chinese cookies want to tell you for the whole collective. So we're going to take two cards. One, I think, opened up. No? Yes, one is done. The second one, please. First of Feb for everybody, the whole collective. Oh, 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 too many. Okay, I'll take one. No, we can't take all of these. Just one card, one more. And there it is. Thank you. Okay, so the first one is property. It says a property purchase or sale may no, sorry, for many, for many of you, there'll be a property. Remember, with the rise in your money that's coming could put you in a position where you want to buy property. That's very important to, to, to think about. You might be thinking about that with this big money that's coming. It says a property purchase or sell. Some of you are thinking perhaps of selling for many, but pay attention focus pay attention on the security concerns in the transaction so while you're doing the transaction for buying or selling property make sure that there there may be some security concerns look deep into this this is very important when this comes up now declutter declutter is about decluttering your life let go of correspondence objects people you no longer want someone will hurt you hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may not wish or you may wish to avoid. So be careful in this process while you are about to leave a situation uh, that's painful. Um, they might show a part of themselves that you never thought it was possible or you, you would have wanted to um, you know, avoid. This person might hurt you because they're hurt you're leaving. That could be another matter. So declutter your life and let go of what's no longer working. That is the message. 
I hope you enjoyed this reading, my dear viewers. I wish you abundance of blessings and celebration. Best wishes for those celebrating anniversaries and birthdays. Happy birthday and happy anniversaries. I wish you the best of the best and a great day to all of you. Each and every one of you, I wish you blessings and love and light to you all. Namaste.